taking over. Let's go. It's Pharrell. Coast to coast. Steaks, chicks, stacks. You and I are going to make a lot of money. It's Pharrell. Coast to coast. All right, back on uh, Coast to Coast on a Misery Monday with Carver High. I got to tell you, I just told my buddy Jimmy Jam down in Hot Town, you better lock up Belichick quick. Like, yeah. I don't know what they're waiting for, uh, Arthur Blank, because uh, now that the rumors have started about Dallas and everything else that's going on, uh, if, honestly, if the Atlanta Falcons end up with another Art Smith for like the fifth straight time, some crappy coach, I mean, they might as well just fold up shop and move to Winnipeg like the Thrashers. Look, I, I think you're right. It's very important for Arthur Blank to do that because I, I think the Cowboys, if that's available, which me and you know it's going to be available, he, he's getting whacked. I mean, I, I don't see any way that he doesn't uh, after what happened yesterday. Isn't that the best place for him to go? And I know people like, you don't want to work for Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones does this. Bill Belichick has known Jerry Jones for 40 years. He understands him. He drinks yeah. scotch with him at the end of the bar at every league meeting. They yeah. know each other. There's not There's not going to be that. You want to know what Bill's going to care about? He's 72 years old, and that's the roster that Winning. gives him the best chance to get his 15 wins and maybe, maybe get back to the Super Bowl. That's what matters the most to Bill right now is that. Not rebuilding the Atlanta Falcons. That ain't going to matter to Bill. Yeah, I, I wouldn't argue with that. I, I love the talent in Atlanta, except yes. at quarterback. Yeah, and and that you need it. You got to have a quarterback to win. So, unless you want to sell me that, uh, Bill's going to bring what? Uh, Kirk Cousins there? Fields to get somebody else. Got to get Fields. Be, yeah, uh, they they do. But I I think the Bears are going to keep him, like we said last week. I think the Bears are going to keep him and trade the pick. Uh, at number one. I think Belichick, so. I'm hearing that he's, you know, going there and blank sent the plane that he's going down there to talk to him. So, uh, but listen, Jerry can always send a plane to Atlanta to pick him up and uh, divert him from yeah. going back home and say, come over here to uh, Big D and uh, we'll take you out for some brisket. I mean, Mafia <laughs> took me to some place for brisket there. I forget what it was <laughs> called. There was some funny name of that town in Dallas. I've never eaten so much barbecue in my life. I had gas for a week. It was awesome. Uh, <laughs> we uh, we welcome in all of our radio affiliates for El Coast to Coast on a Monday, of course, Series XM 159, Sports Byline. Great to have everybody with us. Uh, a special Coast to Coast today, Scotty, because we're going to be here through the Steeler Bill game, which kicks what? off in about tw- about 30 minutes uh, is what? when that game is going to get going. Of course, uh, Marenzi is going to join us at 425 East. And the three of us will be together throughout the entire game uh, here on Sports Grid, Sports Grid Radio, etc. Going to have ourselves a fun couple. Shows of Shows you what the manager it. thinks of me. They put you two gang tacklers <laughs> up against me. Uh, they're well, like, "What we're going to do is we're going to put Carver and, and Marenzi on Pharrell all night and ruin his life." Real nice of them, but we can all play games. Right. I'll get even with you at a later date. I'm sure you will. Uh, I'm sure that you will. Now, you would have had Marenzi anyway yesterday if the game happened. That would have been bad enough. To. So now you got to deal with me, too. Now, I wanted to give you this because, uh, like I said, this game's going to kick in about uh, 25, 30 minutes. So this is what Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park looked like when the game was supposed to kick off, Scotty, yesterday. This was the scene at Orchard Park. Take a look at this video. Look at this footage that we have, Scotty. I mean, look at this. You can't even see the building. I mean, this is what they potentially would have played well, in if I mean, this game took place. Uh, I, it looks to me like the lights are still on. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, <laughs> you know, is there? I see the lights are working. I think we could have that. gotten through that. The Steelers could have ran the ball effectively in those conditions. Now a picture of what Highmark Stadium looks like uh, just a couple of hours oh, ago. Oh, isn't that and lovely now, for Josh Allen? Oh, uh, nice I forgot. Clear. How there many, how many rock passer penalties on the Steelers today? Blowing uh, kisses at Josh Allen, not even touching him. How many will they get? Four? Four roughing the passer yeah. penalties? Uh, they got the field all scraped up nice. Uh, it's nice. I mean, honestly, it's going to happen. Look, I said it already on the show. 
they have this all figured out. Mahomes against Josh Allen, just the way they want it at the league office. Uh, the Steelers should go to the anchor bar and go home, honestly. Uh, look, th- this obviously is a much different game now than what me and you talked about on Thursday and Friday, thinking about what they were going to play in. I think that obviously now in these conditions, it's a bigger deal that TJ Watt's not out there. It- it's a bigger deal. Um for a few things, but uh, it is going to be cold. I don't think the cold matters as much. The wind isn't going to be there that much. Uh, it, you know, it is what it is, Scotty. They're going to play the game. Have, and- I, I, I need your guy. The only way we win this game is if they – Allen throws the ball to the other team. Look, if they score <laughs> like what Green Bay did, they were up 14 nothing. I thought the yeah. game was over. If the Steelers get up – Seven nothing, ten nothing, yeah. and are running the ball well. They have a shot, and they need to pick off Allen twice, yes. and they need him to fumble the ball once or cook. The Steelers have to get three or four turnovers, and they need to pound the ball, running it into the end zone, not not like Boswell field goals. They need red zone and kitty cat zone touchdowns. No threes. When you get it down at a five, you got to punch it in. There can't be threes. They need sevens. They need sevens, and I'm with you. They need uh, to get, force Josh Allen to look like the Josh Allen that you saw in the first half against Miami last week, the Josh Allen that you saw that opening Monday night game against the Jets, the Josh Allen from the Monday night game against Denver. Those are the That's the Josh Allen that the Steelers' defense has to force this afternoon in that game. And if they do, and they get that lead that you're talking about, like the Packers did yesterday, you force him to make more mistakes and play more uh, crazy. Uh, Cause you know, that's what he does. Puts it all on his shoulders and starts to make uh, some mistakes out there. So this is a flat 10 uh, is where it still is. It is nine and a half over the weekend for a little bit, but back to 10 and the total, which got as low as 33 and a half early Saturday morning, before they announced the uh, moving of the game, it's now got all the way up to 39 as we sit here, about uh, 25 minutes to kick, Scotty. Yeah, I, I got the Steelers in 10 and the under. I, uh, I'm i not feeling good about it. I pray to God that uh, my team gets lucky. I think the Bills are a way better football team, believe it or not, than the Steelers. Uh, I also believe that Josh Allen is a playoff quarterback. He's a stud and uh, I'm just praying that Rudolph uh, and his luck keeps going. He's won three in a row. He's not turned the ball over. Just be smart. Don't turn it over. I pray to God that their running game works and that he throws a couple of nice passes to Johnson and Pickens and Fryermuth and gets some first downs, and, and they're in the game. The last thing I want to see today is to do this show till 8 Eastern and see a uh, – 36 to 10 bills win. Uh, it's going to be a long night for me. I'd rather lose by one. I'd rather lose by three. Uh, you know, if they win the game, I'll keel over. I really will. I don't think they can beat them at, at, at uh, Orchard Park, but I want them to. I pray to God they do it. And uh, I've seen stranger things happen during my 58 years on this earth, including six Lombardi trophies. Count them. Quarterback at quarterback. We're going to lay some juice. We're going to have some golf prices. We're going to go right in the middle. Because I don't know what they're doing. To me, they're in a complete rebuild, Kev. Go run, run, run. That's where overbackers on this 51 and a half shot. So right now, he's a little bit more over money, but it's hovering right around. The winner of this game will be the division. I don't care if they win because all we care about is the money, baby. The money. Pro football today. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. San Francisco minus 120 to win the NFC championship. It's the Cowboys with the second best number. The Eagles at 7-1. to one. What the hell's the difference between the 6 and the 7 seed? I need my guys out here to make a playoff push. They took the bye week and still won the football game. You want to talk about two franchises going in the wrong direction? The Eagles. Ridiculous what they did this week. The early line.
only on Sports Grid. It's a lot of fun to do because you could kind of, you know, place a season-long bet all at once and just wait it out. I've always found that interesting. But uh, New York is one state where it's a little bit unclear. You cannot bet on basically anything that requires a vote. So you're talking about an MVP award, uh, a Cy Young, a Rookie of the Year, anything where somebody, where people at the end of the year have to vote. Newswire, only on Sports Grid. And I tell you what, there's a million and one um, coaching vacancies uh, right now. Brady Cannon is a candidate for the Vegas Raider job. Like uh, there's, 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 so, there's so many jobs available right now. NFL teams are coming to the grid uh, for for our talent. Uh, so there's that many head coaching spots available uh, right now. I'm going to submit my uh, my resume. Sports Rage Late Night, only on Sports Grid. Anyone that's been to a sporting event, the atmosphere before a game, I think Game Time Decisions has that same exact atmosphere. This is our arena. This is what we do. There is going to be an energy to Game Time Decisions that you will feel night in and night out. The excitement you get when you, when you lock your bets and when you're figuring out what you want to do, we can zone in on the biggest games each night. I want this to be the place that people come to before the game start so they feel as ready as possible to lock in their cards. We are going to hit every single one of those markets that you need to know about. We're gonna go through every single thing and I've got a great team behind me that's gonna help me get the job done. There is not gonna be a better place, I promise you, than Game Time Decisions to get that new information, react to it, and be able to then bet accordingly. We will have everything at our disposal and we will use that to our advantage. I'm Kevin Walsh. Tune into Game Time Decisions from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern on SportsGrid. Carver High. As you know, I'm under a tremendous strain. I want to talk about this uh, big game 58. Everybody's talking about it. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, you know, they're all getting ready for it. But uh, BetMGM's getting ready in a bigger way. Get into this. Bet $5, get 158 instantly. Use the bonus code SG158. SG, Sports Grid 158. Place your first wager through the mobile app. For at least five, you're going to get 158 instantly in additional winnings regardless of the wager's outcome. Download the app on iOS or Android or visit betmgm.com. Sign up, deposit at least five into your new account. Place a wager in the amount of at least five at standard odds. Once you have placed a bet, you're going to receive 158 in bonus bets regardless of the outcome of your wager. You're going to love it. They're just handing you money. Bet five and get 158 bucks. I mean, honestly, it's ridiculous. I don't know who came up with that. That guy, they should question him. He's probably a narc. He's probably got inside information. Any guy that set up a deal to give everyone in the country $158 for five bucks, that's like making an error at the grocery store. The chick presses the wrong button and gives you all the cash in the register, and she's talking to her boyfriend on the phone and just hands you a wad of bills. That's what that is. That's BetMGM just giving away the whole cash register. And that's how they do it. Uh, that's what we like. You got to go ahead. Just open it right up. Boop. You know, you hit the button. Uh, you know what pay I mean? it out. That's it. Just pay it out. That's what we have to do here. Um, all right. We have uh, a couple minutes left. Of course, next segment, Gabe's going to join us. And then we'll get right into the Steelers and the Bills in Orchard Park. Uh, we're trying to, everybody's trying to get the TVs uh, set up here. Did you get it all figured out, Scotty? We're good to go with the television aspect. Yeah. Uh, so it. you're going to go straight up or yeah, you're going to go. Straight I'm up. going straight up because I, I, I put it on the, uh, I put it on the YouTube TV, hoping that I could like a sports grids on there. I thought I'd have, you know, sports grid on the Nick game on yeah. and then like the football game on and it gave me the finger. So like, but I will say this, I had all four college games going. I had eight different games going on Saturday with Ranieri. So I think it may be one of the best things I've ever done in my life putting that into my 80 incher in here because like nice. I wasn't smart enough to do it. The young gun did it for me. He's going back to San Diego state tomorrow, allegedly with the um, 
snowstorm Ooh. headed here. Hopefully he'll get out uh, on his flight to San Diego, but he set it up for me. And now I have the ability to watch four games at a time, which makes me horny, baby. Horny. <laughs> All I know is I'm going to go uh, CBS with the Steelers in actual time. I will not be on a stream here. I'm going to go uh, straight time. I don't want to ruin it for you. If you can turn it on CBS. I mean, I know you're living large out there, Carver High, and you can get uh, it in real I time. I have. I will be. Uh, I will. Pr- I'm always behind you. Uh, this has been the case for Ugh. years now, and it's probably going to stay that way because uh, in the office, uh, I don't have uh, the regular uh, cable in the office. Everything is streaming in the office, so that's uh, that's just the where I'm going to. But that's okay. I'll be able to see it. I'll be able to give you that if we miss something, I'll get the second look at it. Probably. I mean, there, let me just say uh, this. They are literally, yeah. there are no, uh, how are these people sitting in the stands? I, I don't understand. Well, well, uh, they, I've been watching the videos because all the fans are, are in the, in the stadium now. They, all they could shovel before people entered the building was the, uh, the aisles and the walkways. They didn't shovel any of the seats. Oh my God. Uh, so, so people are getting to their seats and there's like two and a half feet of snow on each seat. So what are they doing, Scotty? If you get to your seat first, they're taking the two and a half feet of snow and, and they're dumping it on the seat in front of them or dumping right. it on the seat behind them. And then the next uh, poor guy comes to his seat and there's five feet of snow on top right. of his seat. So what's he doing? He's pushing it all next to you. So look, th- it's it is mess. actually, they did an awful job with this. There's got to be a better way in 2024 to clear snow out of a stadium than just pay a bunch of guys 20 bucks uh, and a couple of beers to come there at three o'clock in the morning uh, with a, with a, you know, an old shovel from the seventies and, and shovel out the snow. They need to build a dome stadium Uh, in Buffalo. You've said it a hundred times. They're not a cold weather team. They're not meant to play outside. You think you have this advantage, but you really don't. You said it yourself. They don't play well in snow. They don't play well in 50 mile an hour winds. Why not in in Antarctica where they live, build a dome stadium. Now, do they play outdoors in Minneapolis? No. Do they play outdoors in Detroit? No. No. They play outdoors in Indianapolis, and Indianapolis is candy ass. That's not even a snowy place. That's amateur hour. Uh, the Bears, they still have an open air, but they turned it into a spaceship, uh, and, and it keeps the wind out. Back in the day, Soldier Field was open air, and it blew right through those. Remember those cones they used to have at Soldier Field, like the, the pillars? Yeah. It blew right through there. You couldn't even kick a field goal. I think the Buffalo Bills are stupid to build that billion dollar and a half stadium and not put a roof on it. Uh, we stupid. Uh, of course, they could have just, Super Bowls, no, look, concerts, and, everything. Yeah, yeah, but uh, look, I understand the aspect of it. This team, it's not beneficial to them. This current Buffalo Bill offense, it is not beneficial. Uh, to have them outside in the open air. But uh, the people up there didn't want a roof. Uh, they're not getting a roof. And now uh, you basically can't sit uh, in the seats uh, at Highmark Stadium this afternoon. They all seem happy, care though. Because that crew, uh, that crew gets so bombed uh, before they even get into the building that I don't think they're going to care that they have to stand the whole time. Uh, there is, of course, a second game after this. I'm sure throughout our hours together, Scotty, we will, uh, during some downtime at some points, maybe at halftime, et cetera, discuss that the Eagles and the Bucks also play tonight. Eagles minus three in Tampa. A flat 43 is going to be the total there. Um, this one, remember, we thought there might be some weather here as well in terms of rain and wind. Doesn't seem like that's the case uh, tonight. Looks like it's going to be fairly decent. Maybe a couple of sprinkles here and there in Tampa for this one. So I love how, uh, like, Phil Sims goes uh, Bills by 14. Uh, Cower, Steelers 15 13. He's homerized milk toast. Nate yes. is a uh, seven point Bills win. And you know, Boomer oh, is going to so bet on the, uh, he's going to bet on the Bills so- as sure as I'm <laughs> sitting here. And so is James Brown. <laughs> like, none of these people fool me. The only one that'll bet on him is, is Cower. He's another one. Uh, I told you, uh, he's in my all quitters club with Barry Sanders, Calvin <laughs> Johnson, <laughs> Bill Cower, well, the quitters now, club. Don't we have some story today that Tomlin's going to join the Quitters Club too at 51 oh, years another, old? Mike Tomlin's going to stop coaching football. Come another on, quitter. I don't believe 
I don't believe for a second that Mike Tomlin's going to have some big discussion so, with his family after the year and not coach football anymore. When my, when my daughter doesn't start and doesn't get like 25 minutes of burn in her high school games, she comes out mobbing and I always sing the same song. I go, well, McKenna is a quitter every single day. You know that she's a quitter in some old fashioned way. She's a quitter today. Uh, there's nothing I hate worse than quitters. Like the Cowboys don't yesterday, like Micah Parsons, he's a quitter. Nobody likes quitters, uh, Scotty, that's for sure. Not uh, on nobody this likes show. that at all. I will uh, – let me quickly give you uh, the tutties for today uh, because uh, why not? We might as well get some touchdowns. I got uh, a thousand other things. Uh, I'm sure Gabe's uh, got a billion bets to talk about. Uh, Allen at minus 120. Najee Harris, we gave you that one on Friday. We're going to stick with it. Plus 170 for him. Mike Evans tonight, minus 110. Dallas Goddard at plus 230 and Latavius Murray Scotty I gave you Lenny Fournette on Friday not playing because the Bills needed to take uh wide receivers and linebackers off the practice squad so Latavius Murray at 11 to 1 will be our backup running back uh possible jam it in there at the goal line pick here for today for this game I've got everyone on the Steelers I got all of your bets going automatic I got, I got Minka I got I Minka him. going Kazi going <laughs> Najee going Warren going, Friermuth going, Pickens going, uh, Johnson going. How about Hayward with a scoop and score? I got like oh. nine Steelers scoring touchdowns. Uh, I added Trent Sherfield too. He's going to play the Gabe Davis role today. It was a nice price at seven to one, and I got him for fifty plus receiving yards at plus six fifty two. Let's go. Quarterback at quarterback. We're going to lay some juice. We're going to have some dog prices. And we're going to go right in the middle. Because I don't know what they're doing. To me, they're in a complete rebuild, Kev. Go run, run, run. That's where overbackers on this 51 and a half shot. So right now, we saw a little bit more over money, but it's hovering right around. The winner of this game will be the division. I don't care if they win because all we care about is the money, baby. The money. Pro football today. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. San Francisco minus 120 to win the NFC Championship. It's the Cowboys with the second best number. The Eagles at 7-1. What the hell's the difference between the 6 and the 7 seed? I need my guys out here to make a playoff push. They took the bye week and still won the football game. You want to talk about two franchises going in the wrong direction? The Eagles. Ridiculous what they did this week. The early line. Only on Sports Grid. <laughs> A lot of fun to do because you could kind of you know place a season-long bet all at once and just wait it out i've always found that interesting but uh new york is one state where it's a little bit unclear you cannot bet on basically anything that requires a vote so you're talking about an mvp award uh cy young uh, rookie of the year anything where somebody where people at the end of the year have to vote newswire only on sports grid And I tell you what, there's a million to one um, coaching vacancies uh, right now. Brady Cannon is a candidate for the Vegas Raider job. Like uh, there's, 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 so many, there's so many jobs available right now. NFL teams are coming to the grid uh, for for our talent. Uh, so there's that many head coaching spots available uh, right now. I'm going to submit my uh, my resume. Sports Rage Late Night, only on Sports Grid. Anyone that's been to a sporting event. The atmosphere before a game. I think Game Time Decisions has that same exact atmosphere. This is our arena. This is what we do. There is going to be an energy to Game Time Decisions that you will feel night in and night out. The excitement you get when you when you lock your bets and when you're figuring out what you want to do. We can zone in on the biggest games each night. I want this to be the place that people come to before the game start so they feel as ready as possible to lock in their cards. We are going to hit every single one of those markets that you need to know about. We're gonna go through every single thing and I've got a great team behind me that's gonna help me get the job done. There is not gonna be a better place, I promise you, than Game Time Decisions to get that new information, react to it, 
and be able to then bet accordingly. We will have everything at our disposal and we will use that to our advantage. I'm Kevin Walsh. Tune into Game Time Decisions from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern on Sports Grid. On C to C, we bring in uh, the one and only Marenzi, the Malachi Crunch. Look at these two communists. I got uh, Marenzi in his uh, in his jersey, and then I got look, look at this guy with his uh, spark coat on. We got the Bills broadcast team. Where's your terrible towel? Jersey. I got your terrible, terrible towel. towel right here. Yeah, there I got, go. There that's, go. that's all I got. Like I was gonna bring down my Steelers country uh, sign. And my son wasn't having any of it. I was going to bring down one of my Steeler jerseys uh, and uh, Dermani Dawson autograph. My son wasn't having it. So here I sit as uh, like I'm going to church. Uh, I need a lot more than jerseys and, and signs and God. And what I need is some scotch because uh, they're playing the Bills and the Bills are better than the Steelers game. We all know that. The Steelers have to get, I told Mike, they need three or four turnovers and they need to run the ball for 200 yards and get tutties, not field goals. That's their only chance. If you you want to hang your hat on something, coming into this, guys, no seven seed had ever won before. They were 0-6. The Green Bay Packers obviously ended that. So the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, come in in this situation uh, right now. The weather, you know, could be bad in, in the city, and the, the the snow is in the stands. It's like a it's it's like a um, it's like Scarface. And that's it. Like that's pretty disgraceful, isn't it? A multi-billion-dollar corporation like the Buffalo Bills offer people twenty bucks, a couple of fat guy, drunk and guys. And the league does nothing come in. about it. The league no. didn't help. Like you're telling me, you don't have snow removal companies in the city that you could have hired to actually do this for the fans, so they don't have to sit in three feet of snow. But as far as the game is concerned, I think the Buffalo Bills will get it done. I think they're going to cover the number. I don't think they're going to smoke them though. I think they're going to win by about thirteen points. Uh, or so. So we laid nine and a half with the Bills. We played a uh, um, a Bills teaser to the under guys. So this game's got to go under 46 uh, right now for us. Bills win goes under 46, but it's a tough game from a betting perspective. So I like to attack this from a plus money perspective, guys. Same game parlays. Buffalo Bills to win. Josh Allen to score a touchdown plus 100. Uh, Buffalo Bills to win. Stephon Diggs to score a touchdown plus 145. I'm sure my boy Carver will like this one, and I really think he can score, uh, Carver. Bills to win, Dalton Kincaid touchdown, plus 300. That's a nice payday right there. Bills win, Dalton Kincaid, uh, plus 300. We played another same game uh, parlay. Uh, This was a boost that we got. Stephon Diggs to score a touchdown. Diggs, 75 or more yards, and Diggs over four and a half uh, catches at plus 400. I'm a big fan of the long field goal prop. I like to play to the over. But it is going to be windy in here. I'm not sure the coaches are going to want to try a 46-yard field goal. It's 45 and a half, so I actually bet the under of that. And just to get a little bit of a head start, guys, on the Monday nighter uh, tonight, I teased the Buffalo Bills from 10 down to 3, and I teased the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers up to 10. So, uh, Carver High, uh, he sounds like me when I was kidding when I had nine different Steelers scoring touchdowns, the difference being yeah. is that morenzi has got like nine Bills scoring and he means it. I mean, oh, I got Najee Harris to score scoring. a touchdown. Who is not to scoring be right I'm on Najee Harris too. Najee I'm Harris, your boy Najee Harris, Harris, plus 160 to score a touchdown. Not bad odds, actually. So oh, I do have a Steeler to score. I do have a Steeler. The one, oh, there's the one Steeler score for the day. Uh, morenzi has got 42. The water boy is going to come in and kick a 54 yard field goal. Mason Rudolph, it was a cute story on Christmas Eve and all that. Oh, and here we Rudolph, go. the red nosed reindeer comes in. Cinderella yeah, ends another. today. But you read my mind, Scott, because I was thinking there's another fairy tale out there. <laughs> and the slipper gets smashed. Christmas is over, Rudolph. It's over. I uh, hope Steeler fans Kincaid, throw so snowballs and hit Sean McDermott in the back of his head. The whole game from like the 14th row, some fat guy just melting him with snow. National champion high school prep wrestler, my boy Sean. I don't care. Sean McDermott and Mike Tomlin were roommates. 
They are, yeah. they're, they're, they're buddies. These guys are actually tight. William and yeah, Mary well, repping tonight. I'm not. I like you guys Mary. usually, and today I don't. How's that sound? Like we're all roommates I, uh, and friends. Screw about the you. I don't Our like boy anybody. Steve Merrill God. went at the same time. You know my guest Steve Merrill, the handicapper. He's been on with us before, Scott. Yeah. He yeah, actually yeah. went to William and Mary at the same time as they did. So he knows oh, wow. them a bit. Like uh, they were all there at the same time. Uh, wow. I'm with Gabe on the Kincaid. I got Kincaid actually, Gabe, without the win uh, the I other slept day at with plus Mary, 325. Actually. So we have his <laughs> good for a toddy at plus 325. It's better than Gabe, William. I added <laughs> I put Sherfield so in there with Gabe out. No, if there's so, anything wrong with that. <laughs> there is Sorry, something Carver. wrong with it. No, I no, got no. Mary, 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 quite contrary. <laughs> That was great, Marenzi. Oh, I'm sorry, boy, Carver. Oh, boy. We're gonna, it's going to hey, be Carver, quite the day today. <laughs> this, this is what happens, happens on Sundays, Sundays Carver. Carver. Yeah, you know, yeah this, I know. This is this is what goes on with the two of you. Uh, I added Sherfield, Gabe, just because uh, with, with Davis being <laughs> out. Oh, yeah, out. yeah. No I got Davis, Sherfield huh? for 50-plus uh, yards, boosted up to 1050, plus 1050. Sherfield, anytime touchdown, boosted up to plus 845. So I'm in on Sherfield uh, here, being kind of that next guy. Along what do you Shakir think? And Jake's maybe catch some yardage. I don't even know who what that is. <laughs> uh, you know, running uh, one of the wide he receivers the in Gabriel Davis is out in the back of the yeah. end zone. He caught the tip ball one in the thing, back though, of the end zone last week. So. I I like Cook a lot. I stayed away from him though. I think that they're he's flashy and stuff. Ball security, a little bit of an issue. And let's be real: if they get inside the five, it's Josh Allen. Like, this is a playoff game. They're yeah. not going to play around. That's why, like, if I had to play, like, you know, Josh Allen scoring a touchdown, guys. Like, if the, and I sort of thought the same thing. Yeah. I like Warren, but Harris has shown a lot of aggression, Scott, as you know, on goal line situations. Right. He's running hard. So I think if the, if the, and I don't trust Mason Rudolph. For whatever it's worth, Mason Rudolph played in a cold weather game. Um, and he didn't play very well. Like, if you look right. at Mason Rudolph's history, he's not really a great cold weather quarterback. Doesn't look terrible there. A little chilly, a little windy. Uh, but... It doesn't even look bad at all. I'll tell you what, <laughs> real look quick. Like it, snowed. It, it, it is not even a factor. <laughs> the only thing the weather is affecting in this game today is the people in the stands. The fans. That's yeah, the it. fans are around it. It sucks for There's them. No yeah. There's no wind. There's the field is perfect. The goddamn Dude, I just look at the, look at the, they just showed the stand zone. Well, There's like literally feet stand. of snow. You saw it, Carver, in the, in the end They zone? all have to stand. They can't sit down. Everybody's going to be standing the entire game. <laughs> look at the snow. Three feet of snow on every seat. They didn't look, clean it. Let me ask look at you. Them. They're drinking how do you beer. Tell? They don't even care how cold it is. They're drinking cold Bud Lights by the like 40 ounce cans. They're not afraid of this. This is candy ass football. This oh, is, is a normal. Bills game in yeah, December, see guys, or January. Not even, they don't even have gloves on. I see people like are drinking beer. They don't have gloves on, but like, how do you tell where your seat is? Like, they're underway. It's covered in snow. Right. I, they're underway. I, I think this just became everybody walk through the door, all gas. Yeah, up, just and they stand said, around wherever the section, hell you want. Just pick a spot in the section you're supposed to be in and stand up and watch the game. That's it. First come, first serve, first section. You're gonna come Let's around. Hey, I think you're my seat. You're moving the snow <laughs> yeah. out of the way. Like, here's here's my like, stub. Get, get lost. Yeah, I'd be like, I don't care, there. bro. We're Just stand there, there whatever. Oh, look, That's what the I, Rose Bowl was like, actually. I want to go like, to the game. Is this my seat? It's like, dude, you're get, in the Rose Bowl. Just stand there. Who cares? I don't want to get in a fist fight at the game like yesterday in Dallas. They were beating each other up on the same team. Like, how embarrassing when Cowboy fans are fisting with other Cowboy fans. I just want to go to the game as a Steeler fan or a Bills fan and get home without so blood on my shirt. I just want to have no, some beers be and watch a good game. Here's Najee, one yard. The Steelers That's get it. the ball it's first. It's going to be a long day. The Steelers get the ball I just first. Saw the I just saw the kickoff now, so that's good. Uh, that Najee's already oh got boy, that Oh, boy, we're all over the place here. The <laughs> okay, By where, the way, where are you Rudolph what led the NFL. He, he led the right NFL. They, uh, they're coming out of the huddle right now. No, on, you're 14-30. Uh, yeah, it's second 14-29. down. 14-29. Uh, second and I, eight. I haven't even uh, seen the Harris carry listen, yet, so I'm going to be always third. <laughs> Rudolph led the NFL week 16, 17, and 18 in quarterback rating. Uh, and everything, and in, in uh, completion percentage. So he played really well. Here he is dropping back, and the Steelers are, are rolling, rolling, Warren, with a big gain of 30. The Steelers are rolling early. Try that on for size. A little screenplay that turned into a big gain. 
Yeah. I don't know. It looks like if it's rain or wet snow or something, it looks like there's something a bit, sort of a little bit of a drizzle in the air there suddenly right now. But yeah, yeah big play for Ward. Little dump off. You know, they need to fake, not fake turn the ball off. over. Rudolph didn't turn the ball over for the last three weeks. Do that today, and you got a shot. Don't turn the ball over. And we know Allen turns the ball over. So whoever makes mistakes turning the ball over, you're going to regret it. Here they are at midfield already, the Steelers. If they go down and score, it's like the Packers. They were getting 10. The Packers were getting 7. They went up 7. Then they went up 14. The game was over. If the Steelers go down and score, if, I don't think they will, but if they do, and I'm sitting there 17 zip with the spread, I may start drinking. I mean, honestly, I may go up and get a bottle, Marenzi, and you know I'm very capable of getting a bottle and bringing it down here and start going fingers three deep. I just hope they fumble on this next play here. <laughs> this guy's going to fight up a couple of plays. Like, all right, all right. Give me a long <laughs> afternoon here. Third down. He threw a deflection. Already, already comparing it to the Cowboys. I like this. The Packers. Oh, God. Up I want like first this. down here. Well, the Packers first got down, the ball. Just, uh... They got the ball, and they went down and scored. You can't tell me that didn't set the mood for the date. Yeah. Uh, and then now – the Steelers had a shot here getting the ball to midfield, but it's third and long. I don't like third and longs on the road in bitter cold weather. This guy's been a lot better at third and short. Now, did yeah, you want to stay ahead of the sticks? Defer? Third did and the eight. Bills defer in this one. Did the Bills win the toss? Because they always defer. I guess that's why well, the Steelers. I, I, I don't I, know. If I was the Bills, I would have took the ball first, like the Packers did yesterday, and try put a seven right out of the gate uh, on them. That's what I. All right, so about. they got a punt. It's incomplete. They got a punt already. There we go. Let's go. The party's over already. Let's go. Give us oh, the yeah. ball. Oh, the game's over. <laughs> Give the us Bills the ball. Are, yeah, over. The Bills, the Bills are going to go to their fifth Super Bowl. They've done so well in the previous four. Quarterback at quarterback. We're going to lay some juice. We're going to have some dog prices, and we're going to go right in the middle. Because I don't know what they're doing. To me, they're in a complete rebuild, Kev. Go run, run, run. That's where overbackers on this 51 and a half shot. So right now, he's a little bit more over money, but it's hovering right around. The winner of this game will be the division. I don't care if they win because all we care about is the money, baby. The money. Pro football today. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. San Francisco minus 120 to win the NFC Championship. It's the Cowboys with the second best number. The Eagles at 7-1. What the hell's the difference between the 6th and the 7th seed? I need my guys out here to make a playoff push. They took the bye week and still won the football game. You want to talk about two franchises going in the wrong direction? The Eagles. Ridiculous what they did this week. The early line. Only on Sports Grid. <laughs> A lot of fun to do because you could kind of you know place a season-long bet all at once and just wait it out i've always found that interesting but uh new york is one state where it's a little bit unclear you cannot bet on basically anything that requires a vote so you're talking about an mvp award uh, a cy young a rookie of the year anything where somebody where people at the end of the year have to vote newswire only on sports grid And I tell you what, there's a million and one um, coaching vacancies uh, right now. Brady Cannon is a candidate for the Vegas Raider job. Like uh, there's, 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 so, there's so many jobs available right now. NFL teams are coming to the grid uh, for for our talent. Uh, so there's that many head coaching spots available uh, right now. I'm going to submit my uh, my resume. Sports Rage Late Night, only on Sports Grid. Anyone that's been to a sporting event. The atmosphere before a game. I think Game Time Decisions has that same exact atmosphere. This is our arena. This is what we do. There is going to be an energy to Game Time Decisions that you will feel night in and night out. The excitement you get when you when you lock your bets and when you're figuring out what you want to do. We can zone in on the biggest games each night. I want this to be the place that people come to before the game starts so they feel as ready as possible 
to lock in their cards, we are going to hit every single one of those markets that you need to know about. We're gonna go through every single thing and I've got a great team behind me that's gonna help me get the job done. There is not gonna be a better place, I promise you, than Game Time Decisions to get that new information, react to it, and be able to then bet accordingly. We will have everything at our disposal and we will use that to our advantage. I'm Kevin Walsh. Tune into Game Time Decisions from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern on SportsGrid. C to C, we're all over the Bills and Steelers game in the BLO at Orchard Park at Highmark. Josh Allen has it now already throwing a quick slant at second and five, and they have the ball. They stopped the Steelers. Steelers had one good play, and that was it. They got to midfield and had to punt, and now it's going to be uh, third and one, less than one for the Bills uh, in their own end. And you know he's had 44 TDs. He's also had 22 uh, giveaways uh, this year. He, second in the NFL in giveaways. Uh, I think second in the NFL in, in points. Uh, it, you know, the guy scores touchdowns and he uh, and he gives the ball away. So on that uh, third down, I think they got it. I think they're going to give him the first down. So uh, first down Bills. So they're going to uh, get another crack at it. I know. Josh oh, yeah, Allen. So. They got it. Yeah, listen, they're new little. They've kind of become the new Eagles with this with the push, right? They've realized, all right, just to push Allen, this is their new, their new gig. I don't like how he leaves his feet all the time when he does this, though. He jumps up often, and, and uh, he jumps too soon. But as far as the turnovers are concerned with Josh Allen, I think, Scott, he's more prone to turnovers in, like, a track meet type of game when there's going to be, like, a ton of, like, when he's going to throw the ball out, and there's going to be, like, a lot of decisions have to be made. I think this game's going to be a little bit more systematic um, and here's here's a play for the Bills. Big catch. There's our boy Kincaid at midfield. But yeah. um, you got to take the good with the bad with Josh Allen. You accept it. I almost don't mind it. Listen, he turns the ball over and just sort of gets some going after. You know, Brett Favre, John Elway, a lot of great uh, quarterbacks in the National Football League have turned the football over. And you know what? The, the positives, the the positives outweigh uh, the turnover or two. The Bills are trying to do it different this year, guys. We've seen in past years. They put up stupid, crazy numbers, and they they fell short. Now they're just sort of winning ugly. Every week it's different. They just sort of survive in advance. This might be the way for them to do it as uh, they move the ball right now to the 40-yard line. There's our boy Diggs. Yeah, they're getting a a first down on every play. They're moving the ball easily against Pittsburgh. I didn't think the coverage on Kincaid was bad. I thought the linebacker, he was all over him. He just made a great catch. It, I think it was just because of his height. He had him by a, a foot, and the, and the guy reached up to knock it down, and and Kincaid made the grab. Then he throw it to Diggs and get another first you know, down. No, Kincaid then didn't even play it, football. Then you run it for three or four. They're doing whatever they want to the Steelers right now. I was going to throw it out there. Dalton Kincaid, he played football as a kid, and he didn't like it in high school. Yeah. He he was getting hit. He got hurt and stuff. He was like, ah, it's not for me. And he was playing flag football. <laughs> he was like a flag football champion. Like they were like, dude, they're like, listen, you're so effing good, bro. Will you, you know what I mean? Will you just, just try it again. Just try it again. And uh, the rest is history. Here he is in the National Football League lighting it up right now. So all you flag football players out there, there's a route for you. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's true. I mean, he walked away. I'm, I'm dead serious. Glad that he did. Glad that he and did. now the flag flag football is going to be in the Olympics too, right? And NFL players are going to be playing. It's really going to, yeah. it'll really start to pick up. You'll, I'm just yeah. saying, you'll start to see some wide receivers. They'll be like, yeah, he was a flag football star, and we convinced him to play. You know, yeah. And and uh, you know, Tiddly Winks is next in the Olympics too. Uh, honestly, <laughs> uh, the day that they well, put they've had ball flag football. Dancing. I mean, well, Har- I, I, I mean, honestly, get them to put the pickleball in right. Haro is going to get them to put pickleball in the Olympics next. Oh, Haro, that's, like sure. Haro, that's Haro coming for sure. Haro, that's coming for sure. Paris pickleball Olympics. <laughs> Haro, be there. Doing a He's video standing in front of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> All windy. I'm Rick Haro in Paris. 
<laughs> They're already oh, down to the 10-yard line. Bills, Bills, Bills are moving the ball. Move down. Bills are moving the ball. Who's going to score field. a touchdown? Who's going to score I mean, a touchdown? I'm still on the Diggs catch. I just saw the second oh. Diggs catch. They got him Carver's at the 25. On the Diggs catch. No, I'm so far. I'm so on the second Diggs catch. I'm at the Scotty's 25-yard like, line here. Scotty's like a second ahead of me just a little bit. They snapped. Listen. It's bothering me, too. Uh, Carver Hyde. Carver Hyde still watching the Texans game. That's how slow this is. Flacco just threw another pick over here on my TV. This is yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> this is so uh, Scotty stated first down on the twelve yard line. First and ten yeah, on oh, the twelve. They give it to Cook. Look at Cook. Look at that run. I'm on the I'm on the last Cook run. By the way, I'm everything the Bills are doing has worked so far, hey, Scott. Hey, right? Hey, left, you right, just, pass. Cover high, you should just stay out of the play by play at us. You're so <laughs> far out. behind. I'll just tell <laughs> you what out. happens, and then you react. Oh and you boy. watch. The, it's like you're watching the highlight. You're so far These behind me. For him. Gape and holes uh, for Cook. It's so second far and seven stuff. from the. Who can score the, the touchdown here? There I want to find a little quarterback. There's a here touchdown. Here. That's a touchdown. Knox, I think. Oh no! Oh, he's he not knocks about people. I knew it was going to be the tight end, but it's. I need. Uh, I wanted Kincaid. Touchdown, Easy money. Wide open. Let's go. I think that really will define the day. I mean, they went down the field so easily. That that to me just spells doom. Like uh, the Pittsburgh defense. Oh, look at stop the Steelers. Jack. Look at the Steelers secondary. They're actually fighting with each other. Uh -oh. well, <laughs> the a little early in the game open. to turn on each he, other. I mean, like, guy God, been, Matt. He's he like, could have been sitting on a toilet. He was so wide him. open. Yeah, number twenty snapping on everybody. He's like, what the <laughs> f did you guys all of this do? <laughs> a little early in the game, like for finger point. Like they were like. Clearly, like they were both literally f pointing fingers at each other. Like, what did you do? What did you do? Look at, wow. see, look at that ball. Barely the the, the extra point barely got through. Mm. A little windy yeah, there. Kicking, Seven nothing, Bills, not baby. Be fun today, that's for sure. Kicking will not be fun. Uh, well, look on Scott's face right that. now. Already defeated. Oh, I, I just, see that uh, look. Uh, this, like, isn't, <laughs> this isn't surprising to me. This is painful to me that I have to sit here with you two idiots for four hours and watch <laughs> you kick the Steelers' ass. Uh, and that the suits at Sports Grid think it's funny, too. I told you, I'm going to get even with all of you mother Pharrellers one day. So enjoy your day today. Because when I get even with you, you're going to be crying. There won't be any crying for me today. But when I get even with you, you won't forget it. So one day, real soon, your team gets hey, to the Super Bowl and loses. Last I'm week, gonna literally have sex with you on television, and we'll see how no funny need. it is when you guys lose another Super Bowl because you're real there's, good at that. There's no need we to like lose them. We win six, you have none. How's that taste? There's, there's no need to hate on the Bills. Yeah, there just, is. It's just a wild card game. I already knew the Bills would win today. I'm not stupid. I just need the Steelers to cover, and they're not going to do that either. And I play in the half Rams. Now. And whoever else. Yeah, what is it now? <laughs> 16 and a half is the live number. Uh, 41 and a half, the live total. Jesus, now it's 16 and a half? 16 and a half after that one. Jesus, they're going to lose by 20. Oh my I did God. play. I did play an odds boost as well. Josh Allen, one or more passing touchdowns. And Josh Allen, 200 or more passing yards at plus 100. So we're off and running. He's already got 100. <laughs> He's already got a <laughs> I don't know how many yards he passed for. He's got a touchdown, though. So there it is. Of all people, though, a hey, Knox. I don't have Knox. I didn't have Knox. Did you have Knox? I didn't have Knox either. Uh, I didn't have Knox at all. I, he I, hasn't, you know, when I, he hasn't played. I usually sprinkle him for first touchdown, too, and he was 25-1 yes. to today. But the Steelers are bad so against tight ahead. ends. That's why I knew. Yeah. I'm like, Kincaid. I don't know. I That's why we're on Kincaid. We, have, we were in on Kincaid, but damn. Kincaid will catch That's a touchdown sweet. in the next 15 minutes. Calm what down. Yeah. Me and Gabe will be happy about that. We both got him to score. Let's get Kincaid I mean, in there. that guy was Let's so go. wide open. He looked like a French hooker, honestly. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it was, it was embarrassing. So I don't even want to – like, Kincaid, he'll have a touchdown. Kincaid will have two touchdowns yeah. by halftime. Hey, that wasn't <laughs> right. Matt Canada's fault, was it? Can't blame Matt Canada no. for that. No, can't, can't do that. Gabe, oh, give me boy. some of your weed. Honestly, I need it right now. <laughs> Pass it through the monitor. Thank you. What am I having? Some of the heart medication plays, or something? Four soft plays the pain? of 10 plus yards on the drive. Four plays wow. of 10 plus yards. Yeah. They were cutting six through them like butter. Six first downs on one drive, guys. They had six first downs on that drive. 
Well, of that's course like, they did. They went 80 yards. Listen, that's, that's you can't like, you can't start better than that for the, if you're the Bills. No, no, like that's, that's as like, good as, like, as you could ever have. Like some teams don't have six first downs and a half, guys. You know what I mean? The Bills yeah. just racked up six first downs on yeah. one drive. This game will be over before the game Saturday will be night. over before the sun goes down. <laughs> this is a big drive. You were talking about earlier about well, you know, when Green Bay scored earlier. You don't want to fall too far behind here with Mason Rudolph. Yeah. You want to try to you, like if you know what I mean this is a big this is a big possession here. Like don't turn it over, like at least eat some clock up and punt. Um what's the new total here right now? This game's a little like, I, I, uh, I think 41 the Bills, and a half. The Bills defense 41. the last uh, 8 weeks has been back to playoff caliber style of stopping teams. And they've had a ton they, of injuries, Scott. And they're now they really they're making do. life miserable for the Steelers. Running or passing is an impossibility. I do not believe Rasul uh, Douglas is I've out today too. They'll be able to run yes. the ball against them. They're just I mean, they're like eight in a box. They're not running against them. They already they're know Darren what the game Rudolph. plan is. They're, they're, they're Darren they Rudolph. Know. Well, they're See, playing they one-on-one, on one, and they're like, all right, Mason, you beat us one-on-one. On one. They can't. It's third like and eight it. again. Yeah, but you know what? I, I don't mind it, Scott. At least they're – they can't go three and out quickly. Like, you can't drop no. back, throw to stop the ball, and then, like, suddenly put your defense in there. Like, at well, least that's exactly minimum. That's why what I said. they're going to do right now. I know. They're just trying to eat clock up to try to give their defense a minute to breathe here. Big third and five coming up here. I mean, third and five. That looks like third and eight to me. Oh, and now it looks like third and five. They gave him a couple extra yards on the run. When I saw the Bills throw one of the linemen back nine yards with a body fling, I thought maybe it was an (laughs) eight-yard deficit. I didn't know what I was And Carver knows this. One thing the Bills have gotten good at, Carver, over the last month or so, their D-line's been good. Like Russo and these guys, they're getting at the quarterback. He just threw uh, one get, out of bounds and broke some lady's nose in the fifth row. It was such uh, a bad pass. Yeah, because the Bills are good at this, Scott. They're good at, like, getting their hands up. They disrupt quarterbacks. They're yeah. good at this now. They bat a lot of balls and stuff. It's, like, hard for know, a quarterback. He, he just threw the ball to you. Let's see. <laughs> in Vancouver. That's yeah, no, how dude, bad that pass was. Scott's not exaggerating. He, Dude, you're right. He just literally, not even exaggeration, he just threw that ball into the fourth row. And he wasn't throwing it away. To, he, tried, uh, he tried to throw it to an open receiver, and it ended up in the fourth row. He it literally some, did end up in the fourth row. It was like, it's almost impossible a, to do what it, he just did. He it to yeah. some lady in a Friar Moot jersey. She, <laughs> she looked like Friar Moot. She was having a beer, and, and he and threw it to her. Even everybody I, on the know. field, the players sort of just looked at the ball like, what? Honestly, and watch it after the play. And after that play, they just showed the they showed Johnson. You guys might have missed it. I, I'm getting the one minute later, and Johnson's already like kind of throwing the arms in the air, like where the, oh, the wide receiver is like, yeah. like, yeah. like, where was that ball? He kind of gave him a look. He really you know. did sail that into the stands. And I keep telling you, this kicker absolutely is hair dryer city. This yeah, fat he's, ass, he's he can't there. kick. Honestly, I kick better when I'm sleeping. Honestly. The best is in the last commercial break, Scott like overheard me tell Carver that Mason Rudolph sucks and Pharrell got all mad. Uh, hey, <laughs> you're five having touchdowns in the last three weeks. You mm-hmm. guys suck. And now he's ready to turn on him. You're ready to turn on Rudolph. No, I'm not <laughs> turning on him. I thought the kid played great for the last three weeks. And he I'll did. tell you one thing, he put he put Kenny touchdown back in his uh yeah. uh you know warm-up jacket and Trubisky's gonna be looking for a job. I thought Rudolph played his ass off. Like I said, he led the NFL week 16 through 18 in, in, in percentage completions and quarterback rating. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. But today he looks like he's awful. Quarterback at quarterback. We're going to lay some juice. We're going to have some dog prices. And we're going to go right in the middle. Because I don't know what they're doing. To me, they're in a complete rebuild, Kev. Go run, run, run. That's where overbackers on this 51 and a half shot. So right now, he's a little bit more over money, but it's hovering right around. The winner of this game 
will be the division favorite. I don't care if they win because all we care about is the money, baby. The money. Pro Football Today. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. San Francisco minus 120 to win the NFC Championship. It's the Cowboys with the second best number. The Eagles at 7-1. What the hell's the difference between the 6th and the 7th seed? I need my guys healthier to make a playoff push. They took the bye and still won the football game. You want to talk about two franchises going in the wrong direction? The Eagles. Ridiculous what they did this week. The early line. Only on Sports Grid. A lot of fun to do because you could kind of, you know, place a season-long bet all at once and just wait it out. I've always found that interesting. But uh, New York is one state where it's a little bit unclear. You cannot bet on basically anything that requires a vote. So you're talking about an MVP award, uh, a Cy Young, a Rookie of the Year, anything where somebody, where people at the end of the year have to vote. Newswire, only on Sports Grid. And I tell you what, there's a million to one um, coaching vacancies. Uh, right now, Brady Cannon is a candidate for the Vegas Raider job. Like uh, there's, 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 so, there's so many jobs available right now. NFL teams are coming to the grid uh, for for our talent. Uh, so there's that many head coaching spots available uh, right now. I'm going to submit my uh, my resume. Sports Rage Late Night, only on Sports Grid. Anyone that's been to a sporting event. The atmosphere before a game. I think Game Time Decisions has that same exact atmosphere. This is our arena. This is what we do. There is going to be an energy to Game Time Decisions that you will feel night in and night out. The excitement you get when you when you lock your bets and when you're figuring out what you want to do. We can zone in on the biggest games each night. I want this to be the place that people come to before the game start so they feel as ready as possible to lock in their cards. We are going to hit every single one of those markets that you need to know about. We're gonna go through every single thing and I've got a great team behind me that's gonna help me get the job done. There is not gonna be a better place, I promise you, than Game Time Decisions to get that new information, react to it, and be able to then bet accordingly. We will have everything at our disposal and we will use that to our advantage. I'm Kevin Walsh. Tune into Game Time Decisions from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern on Sports Grid. All right, back on uh, Coast to Coast with the great Marenzi and, of course, my boy, Carver High, uh, your boy, Patrick Peterson, the veteran who's been on this show at the Super Bowl in Phoenix. Cool dude. I mean, that was the, uh, I mean, you know what he looked like there, Carver High? He looked like Giancarlo Stanton striking out in a Yankees game. How about the miss on the safety blitz? The guy had Allen dead to rights for a 15-yard loss. Nobody around him. I mean, like a missile, he went after him and missed him completely. That is flat out embarrassing. They stopped him on third down with an incomplete pass, but it should have been third and 35. Yeah, that's a play right there. Uh, Josh gets out of a lot of those, but still, if you're Patrick Peterson, you have to. You were there that early. You're blind. You got to take him down there. And he just did not wrap up. Yeah, but Patrick Peterson. And other other quarterbacks, it doesn't work. So it's it's actually flawed. You can blitz all you want with these DBs. The DBs get to Josh Allen, and they realize as they're approaching, this guy's like a lot bigger than I am. How big is how big is Patrick next to Josh Allen? Josh Allen's Bro, like he he a monster he next to him. Arm tackled him like a girl. It was he the worst rap. miss He's I've a defensive seen back. all year. I don't, don't care. Don't blitz it. Don't blitz it. A defensive back. If you well, blitz a defensive back against a six foot five quarterback, what do you think is going to happen? Exactly what just happened. Uh, well, what, no, no, no. What I think would have happened there would have been they would have roughing the passer penalty for Allen because he gets as many calls as Mahomes does. How's that taste? You touch him and no, you get a does. flag. Nobody he should have knocked his ass Mahomes. on the ground. That was Nobody a horrible mess. He looked like that 197 hitting $35 million hack Stanton. That's what he looked like with that swing and a miss. My daughter would have tackled him. 
Jesus, what a miss. I was like, oh, my God. I've never seen a guy whiff that bad. Nobody around him, and he missed him. I mean, it was embarrassing. God, that was my. A, uh, I'm going to have to get my pills. For the Steeler D. Big stand Jack for the Steeler Jack, we need to get my pill box and get the scotch out of the top cabinet. I got, I'm starting to feel numbing in my shoulder.